what is going on guys it is your boy so here bring you guys a cool little photoshop tour here today bring you a cool little abstract kind of like really colorful and also a 3d kind of way as well to put it uh i don't know why <laughs> dude i suck with oh my goodness i say this every time i just like i hear myself speaking and it just sounds like i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> when i try to make a title for something but you can see i have an example here it's just very colorful it's a really cool little scheme i have here going on like a little cool little concept uh my last video i checked this uh that checked the comment section below and it said like can you like do something 3d without using like a cinema 4d or whatever and I said, sure. So if, if it looks 3D, this little little object here in the middle or my logo here, I said object. Um, if it looks 3D, I think I, get it, I think I did a good job. I hope I did. Um, but I tried what I go for it. What I tried what I go for it. What I tried to went what I went for. There we go. All right. I'm like completely out of it. I'm just like really excited. I don't know if you can tell. I'm like, I'm finally on winter break and I'm finally doing a video and I just feel so gosh darn good. So sorry if I'm like really overly like excited for some reason. Uh, you can see here though, I kind of went for like a triple kind of like Decker, uh, like layer kind of thing I went for here. I also do this a lot in Cinema 4D. Like any little Cinema 4D video you see me do like in the, uh, like kind of like my present or my, my nearest closest ones or whatever, like my last one or no. Yeah. My last one. That's pretty good. Um, I always have this little triple, uh, little like layer thing. So I kind of went for the same thing here. I hope it came out pretty well. And as well as the whole thing that makes this though is keeping it nice and colorful. I have three colors here that I have. I'm probably gonna reuse as well. Uh, this like little nice little pink. Uh, this like blue and this yellow as well. Um, just I think the color scheme is what's gonna make the uh, whole little concept look really good. It just looks very like kind of like bubbly. I don't know. It just looks really nice. I just looks like eye catching. And I, I feel like anything you do with like pattern wise or like brush wise, uh, stock wise, what you do to it is gonna like it's gonna help it. It's just gonna catch it and it's gonna run away with it. It's gonna look really really good. So uh, let's get going on this video here today. What I'm gonna also need though is my uh, logo for sure. Um, let's just take this. Oops. Uh, here my logo. I'm gonna need this and That's pretty much all I'm gonna really need um, Here we go. So if you don't have a logo, you're probably gonna have to use either like text or something like that um, Which shouldn't be like terrible But uh, if you do use text you're gonna end up doing a lot more work than I'm gonna be doing just because it's gonna be a lot more it's, you'll, you'll see in a second how I set it up and stuff um, Just bear with me if you're using text I it will it will come out really good if you're probably using text probably even better just because it's gonna fill the uh, the canvas a little bit more than just a logo here that I have but whatever you do it's trust me let's, let's just go for it I'll show you guys what I mean you're probably like what the hell are you talking about all right so to start this off what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make a duplicate of your logo here so I'm gonna just call this logo <laughs> press control J I'll make this say like logo with like double O so that way you know it's the duplicate one so also on the duplicated one, you want to lower your passive about 50%. That way you can see it. Uh, right now, all you want to do is hold shift and on the duplicate of your logo, your text or whatever, just drag it down a few little pixels here. I just went down like five or so. I'm going to do just a little more. I'm just going to use my arrow keys now. Uh, just like so. So basically what we're doing, the whole concept of this, we're going to make it 3D, right? So the only make it make it look 3D is to have depth to it. So with that being said, I'm just going to be using a nice little simple silhouette or a duplicate of the uh, the original logo here. And you can see here, it gives me an automatic like, you know, you can connect, you can see like your mind wants to just connect these two plate, uh, these right here. And wants to fill this in, connect it here. Uh, that's all you're going to be doing for this. So basically I'm going to be taking a pen tool on a new layer. And I'm going to be going ahead, just connecting this stuff right here, just like so. Connecting it, following along this path here. And uh, just going like right here. And wants to connect like right there. And I just want to connect it right after you're done. So basically, I'm just going to be doing that the entire time. Um, just like so. That's why I said it's going to be extremely tedious and annoying when you're trying to like do it for like a text or something. Uh, oh, it's going to be disgustingly annoying. But I think the cool part about doing it in Photoshop it looks like it was created, um, like, it looks like it was created, obviously it was created in Photoshop, but it just looks, there's something about the way it looks and, like, the final that I have here, there's something about what this looks like that just goes really well with everything else, so, I don't know, I, I kind of like, I really enjoy doing this for the uh, video and stuff, so, <clears throat> thanks the guy in the comment section because I kind of like doing it. Um, here we go. Uh, as well, this leaves you a lot of open spaces as well to do like any little distortions. Um, I didn't end up actually doing it. I just actually thought about it right now. But if you like did little distortions for each layer or whatever, um, it would look pretty badass. When I mean my distortions, I mean like filter, distort, like any one of these, like a little simple ripple, maybe in the middle only or whatever. Uh, like how sick would that actually be? I think it would look pretty awesome. So I don't know. It depends how like creative you guys want to go for. 
um, go with this uh, just like so here we are and right away I can find myself in a problem if I do end up connecting this one right here right now this would overlap these two selections would overlap and I don't I don't want to do that if it does that it's just gonna mess up so what I'm gonna do right now I was just gonna fill this in with the color right now that way I can just uh, delete the other selections and just go again like right now uh, just like this and then pretty much the what you have to worry about really is if you don't have to use the pen tool I'll just show you guys really quickly right now or if you don't have points as well in your logo which would suck but uh, it's not that hard at all either fill color so basically use the pen tool uh, click once uh, of course you get a point click again you get a line if you want to be uh, you want to make sure it's completely straight um, although I already know that this is gonna be straight because I know this is like a this is a perfect uh, horizontal or vertical right horizontal like uh, duplicate of the logo here but if you want to hold shift you can make a straight line no matter what you do it makes a straight line so that way you can make sure everything is straight and nice and like perfect if you want to make a curve simply just click again while well, you already clicked once click again drag it just like so anywhere left or right doesn't really matter you can always fix it if you hold control you get these little extended points here you can just like perfectly get this really nice curve you can pretty much get any curve ever as long as you just know where to like start and end and of course if this thing if this is already extended here I can curve it like so but let's just say if I wanted just a like a simple curve here let's say if I wanted like a deeper curve or if, let's see like here all right you can see this is like a really like a very uh, I guess like straight kind of curve here if I extended this one more it would give it a more dramatic curve uh, you can put it in so it gives it less of a curve uh, this stuff is like really 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 easy what's really hard is just like just trying to make sure um, it's like what you want it like it's very it's a very hard tool at first as long as you like play around with it but I know a lot of you guys have been watching me for a while and if you've been following my videos a lot you're probably like an expert at this gosh darn pen tool already so I'm not gonna be worried about it too much but here we go it's a plane outside I don't know if you can hear that um here we go connect it here here and as well as here and I think we're gonna be done if I fill this one in with the color sweet so <laughs> wait is, I just like I just have like MTV colors I just got that in my head like you know that I feel like you ever watched all right I'm not gonna go with why would I even say that I don't even know um here we go looks pretty good though so basically I have this two layers here um kind of like the first layer would be like a false layer I guess you would call it but <clears throat> or like a face kind of layer but to get three layers is what we need of course right we don't need this duplicate anymore this is our second layer what's gonna be a third layer is gonna double click on this and we're gonna go to drop shadow if you guessed it or not um we're gonna put the size all the way down to zero <laughs> and whatever like angle or direction you went with the uh, duplicate of course if you didn't go straight down like I did to you know do this little you know uh, depth thing or whatever um if you want a different angle just change your angle here and that will help fix it but for now it's at 90 degrees that way it's straight down and I'm just gonna put my up uh, my distance maybe about 10 and I think that looks pretty good <clears throat> I think so 12 looks pretty good I'm just gonna, like trying to match like the uh, the depth of this so I think 11 I don't know 12 we'll go at 12 but before you do anything make sure your blend mode on drop shadow is at normal and your opacity is also at 100% make sure that is like what you have going on here um I should need this drop shadow to be pink I want that to be pink and there we go I want to I want to have the logo or no I want to have the original layer itself of uh, the color be a nice little gray here so that's what I'm gonna do I'll fix that I'm gonna make this like a nice gray something like that uh that'll look okay and the top layer I want to be white um there we go do I like how that looks kind of do I Maybe this needs to be more gray. Something like that. All right, that looks pretty good. So really quickly, I'm gonna take the drop shadow off. I can just like copy this layer style. I want to rasterize. If you ever, if you're ever changing the color of the secondary layer, make sure you rasterize it. It's gonna obviously you're gonna be using color overlay. Just rasterize the layer and then put your drop shadow back on. Because if you want to do anything that comes with like a putting like a click mask over this layer only, if you want to do like some cool little pattern stuff, like I show you really quickly. If I want to make a new layer with click mask on, and if I if you have like my brush pack or whatever, I'll put the description down below my brush pack and my pattern pack. If you wish to purchase it, they're both five bucks, and they're actually going to be getting an update this Saturday, so uh, or basically tomorrow if you're watching this on the day it's released. Um, if I just take, uh, let's just say I take this one, uh, take the brush here, shrink it. Uh, we'll just take this in for now. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. If this wasn't white, though, we'll make this white. 
There we go. It's white. Rash is layer really quick. And you can see it's now clip mask only toward this. If I have a color overlay on, you can see when I turn it on, you'll no longer be able to see that because that's like a really demanding, uh, it's like a very demanding, like, I guess, effect inside Photoshop. So make sure if you're changing the color, uh, if you want to do something like this, which looks really badass as well, I'm going to leave it there just because. Um, make sure you don't have a color overlay on. So that's kind of like where that goes from. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off with doing like the black outline of this. So to do this, we're going to uh, we're gonna group everything together here. So shift click, uh, control G uh, to duplicate. We're going to call this local for now. We'll have to make a duplicate of this folder. So control J again, and we're going to have to merge it together, which is control E. So very easy stuff there. Uh, the reason why we did this is because we want to have the entire thing right here, right, be selectable. So I'm going to hold control and I'm going to click my thumbnail here, and this will select the outline of our triple little uh, like thing right here, which is perfect. This is what I want. So you can see here it has an outline. So I'm going to make a new layer below this uh, group here. Fill it in with uh, black. Uh, just like cell phone, a black, or like not a, like a complete black. Like say like that. All right. Fill it on black. That way you can see right now if I put this back on. Uh, well, actually first, before I do that, with the selection here, I have to expand it. So before I fill it in and before it's the same exact orient, uh, orientation of this one uh, or selection like around. Uh, before you do that, you want to press or want to go select, modify, expand. Uh, expand by five pixels is pretty good. So what it does is expand selection by five pixels or however many you want to do it. I actually might go actually a lot higher. So like 15. Um, press OK. And you can see here it selects really, really far off, like really far away from the uh, logo here. This is what I want. So I fill this in with black now. That way I do this. If I turn this back on, you can see now I have a very big selection around my, like it just makes the uh, logo pop out a lot more. And that's what I did for mine. Uh, my little example there. So if you want to ever straighten things out, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can just click and we'll just like kind of like really quickly just edit this. That way it's like completely nice and straight. Uh, use the same color, just press color. Click on the color here with the eyedrop tool. It'll automatically select for you. There we go. I got to fix that there. Maybe I got to fix this side too, right? Um, just like so. It's really quick fixes, nothing crazy. You want it to make it look as good as possible, right? So fix that there. And as well to make it look really, really good. Oh, actually, what I can do as well is just use like the rectangle marquee tool just to straighten out little things like that. Boom. And then like here as well. There we go. That's a lot better way of doing it. I would have to fix this angle as well too, though. I'm going to do it just because it's going to bother me. Um, Here we go. Uh, just like so there we go that, lo that looks good for now so there we go uh, also as well I want to fill this entire thing here so pen tool around make sure it's not touching that all right pencil around fill it in and the same thing for this one I just want to have it nothing crazy like that going on oops fill a path black there we go so there we go cool we have this going on now it looks really good so far I love the way it's coming out I hope you guys are like following along not doing anything crazy it's just really a lot of tracing going on and I do recognize that this has uh, like a like a flat edge to it I'm gonna leave it like that for now I would probably edit it of course if you're doing it for like a client or yourself make it look as good as possible guys um we're gonna combine this again call it logo final or 3d logo we'll call it right because now it's nice looking looking 3d or some sort um here we go all right sweet so what I can do now I can delete this copy I want to do like the little simple rectangle thing I have here. So what I did was I used a rectangle on a new layer. I use M my keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool. Select it just like so. Uh, just make a simple rectangle for now on the orient, like with whatever canvas you're in. Uh, right click on it, transform selection, rotate it just like so, whichever way you think looks good. Make sure it's off the canvas here, off the canvas there. Make sure you got a little space maybe between the logo here as well. Uh, does that look okay? I think so. We're good there. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, press check mark here, and then now I can just fill this in with a color, which I believe is that the same exact pink as the inside here. So just select that, just like so, and I can press Alt Backspace to quick fill it in. There we go. It's looking really good so far. I like the way it's coming out. I'm very happy. It's looking really nice. So on this layer as well, we're gonna have to click mask something to this. So we're gonna make another new layer. We're gonna right click, click mask this layer onto this one. That way, only, everything that shows in this layer is only gonna be shown in this one. Use my pen tool again. Use my pencil, just go like through the halfway, I guess like halfway through uh, what you think like this uh, big rectangle is. Excuse me, my dog is barking. Um, just go around really quickly and right click, fill a path, drop down, use color, and select this. And what we're gonna do here though is gonna make this a lot brighter than the pink that we have going on here. 
So if I just put this up, you can see, just like so, just move it just a little bit far, farther up, press OK, press OK again, right click, delete the path, and now you have this, and this is what I want. It just looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. It kind of looks like a, like, a, like a bevel that's going on here, but it looks really, really nice. I like the way it looks. So now I can use the uh, 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 just brightness and contrast. I always love doing this with like really nice bright colors because the contrast kind of like makes it look a lot better. Already you can see it looks a lot better. All right, there we go. Look at that, sweet. So I just to, for purposes of just the tutorial, I'm gonna put it to negative 25, and contrast I put to like 45, just like so. Uh, if you think it's too much, too little, whatever, you can always fix it. Uh, in the meantime, for now, that's what I'm gonna have to do. And I'm gonna make another new layer. And really quickly as well, we'll just like do something like this. This is what I have before. And I have the blue selected. There we go. And pretty much now I'm almost done. I can make a new layer as well. Use a soft brush, right? And we'll just go ahead and just change this to white. Just like so. And I'll make a nice little one just like right on the top there. Maybe a little bigger. Click one time right on the top, just like so. Lower it down. And then maybe I can just use another brightness and contrast if I feel like it or a curve. Uh, whatever you think looks good. I think it looks okay though, whatever. I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, I do like that little fix, whatever. Uh, you can do whatever you guys wish to do. At this point though, it's more up to you. Um, what you can do, if you have like a very like a very dramatic style, if you have my brush stock for instance, uh, which I said, my brush pack, excuse me, I'll put the description down below for you guys to purchase the brush pack or the pattern pack. Uh, either way, whichever one works. Um, they're both five bucks, so they're both really, really good things to get for like if you're just really looking for like some really fun stocks. But if you want to just use one or whatever, we'll just use this one for now. As soon as I have this stock here, or if you have any stock, any brush stock or whatever, just try to find like a uh, like a default one that does something that covers the entire canvas. And then if it covers the entire canvas, you can go to filter, blur, motion blur, and then pretty much angle, pretty good angle right here. I kind of want to find those find the same angle as this, which I don't know what that angle would be. Uh, like what, eighteen? What does 18 look like? No, 17. 17 is pretty close. Cool. So press OK. That's I'm gonna angle 17. Just fix it like I just did just then. And if I put this on overlay, we got some lines going through now. It looks pretty nice. And that's what kind of sets this whole entire thing off. Anything you do from here now on, it's gonna look so badass. Uh, you can do any little stocks like I did. I had like a uh, really nice like dark stocks that are just going around with circles, um, which looked awesome. Uh, I think I had these, or did I have these? I think I had um. Which ones did I have? I had these? Uh, yes, yes I did, sweet. I had these on black. I used these circles just like so. I went around just like that. And I just look at it, just any stock you put on, it just looks so good. I don't know what it is. Uh, put it on overlay or keep it black or whatever. But whatever you choose to do, it looks really awesome. Also, what you can do is play with patterns with this. Uh, that's why I said my pattern pack so much. Uh, if you put like patterns inside like circles or whatever it just gives the style so much more like love you can see that it just looks freaking awesome i'm so glad it came out pretty well so here we go we have the final outcome right there i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really tried to pull off some like really odd like uh like how, how would i say like a 3d kind of thing you can't see the third Oh, you could see the third layer. All right, cool, sweet. I tried to pull off some cool little 3D concept, kind of like, you know, thing in the middle for the logo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So let's switch you out. Peace. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. All right, I, I'm, I'm so happy. Also, oh my God, I almost forgot to say, um, we hit 47,000 subscribers on this channel, which is freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm, ex I'm like really excited for this freaking next year. I really, really am. I hope you guys have a great, great Friday, and if you're done this Friday, if, like, for whatever reason, if you're, like, in the United States, maybe you have no more uh, finals or whatever in your college, I hope you guys have a great, uh, like, I hope you do great in your finals, and I'll talk to you guys later. That's my second time saying, saying talk to you guys later, but I'll talk to you guys later. So, switch so you out. Peace.